our taste and true thoughts and the label and the music we sign, we've always been about trying to be as wide ranging as possible. You know, we've tried to build it up from the deeper sound of the hidden orchestra and then it will get faster with Omar and the more club orientated thing with Rodney P and Quantic will do his sort of tropical style thing. That's what I like and I think that's a lot of the fans that we get with the label are into maybe, they, they, they might not necessarily like every single artist on the label but they're into hearing different things. They don't just want to hear drum and bass all night or dubstep all night. I think that's what as a label we're about. <laughs> It's all play and mixed produced just by myself. There's no the guest musician, no guest vocalist, so it's all the instrumental album. Um, it's all about the speeds and harmonies. But each song has a different style. Uh, some of them sound like hip hop, others sound like a bit of more what you can underground dance music, like two step or well, that maybe sound like a little bit of rock. So yeah, it's quite the mix of styles. The music is actually of Nostalgia 77 is a slightly schizophrenic kind of um, beast, if you like. It changes over time, obviously, and it can be it can be different things at the same time. There's a lot of influence from soul music. Then there's a lot of influence from instrumental music from the the, the other guys in the band who all kind of come to play lots of jazz music and you know, and classical music and experimental music and everything. So you've kind of got these two kind of forces and, and I like I like the kind of the, the I like the contrast. <laughs> the reason I like working with True Thoughts and why I think they're interesting is they just they let people do what they, they want. <laughs> Which I think for artists is really important. I mean, they're like, they're like, okay, we like what you do. You can do it. All the music that I've always been into, I try to squeeze into the album somehow. So it's quite diverse. True Thoughts to me means it's a philosophy about being open-minded towards music and, and that's why they've got everything from jazz to garage and everything in between. very long process. Um, the last album took me eight years uh, and it basically involves me writing everything in the studio, um, a lot of programming, I get musicians to come in and record, improvising, I use that as the source material for sampling rather than sampling records and stuff. And then we learn to play it all live and then we re-record it as the live act and produce it all again and yeah, so there's a lot of processes. Putting that amount of time into it uh, has an effect. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's more engaging as a as a musician to be involved in it than your usual sort of band setup.
We've always struggled with this. We've never ever been able to describe what we do. Which is why we invented Turntable Soul as a sort of genre for our first album. Because we didn't really know what we do and no one else seems to. Every gig's always different because you never really know what's going to happen. You can go out and you know some songs work in some places really well. It depends on the energy of the show. Like if the crowd is really enjoying something, we'll change our set list to um, incorporate something else into it that might be not of a similar vein, but just you know, kind of energy that we know or we, that we think they're going to like. From True Thought's point of view, we've just built everything up. Just gotta give a time. People will be a bit surprised. They might be coming down to see, say, Quantic or Belle Rouge, who might be a bit well known, or Rodney P. or Omar, but we'll see something that they didn't know about as well. For me, I just personally want to get, you know, as many people as possible. I want to hear, hear our music. Just gotta give a time. And it gets easier. Like the truth.